Hi, I'm A. Tad Chamberlain. Thanks for joining me on this fifth episode of Tales from the Tub, Diary of an Independent Filmmaker, where with each installment I take you behind the scenes of my current film projects to meet some of the folks who make movies happen. Now, it's been a few weeks since the last episode, and while my initial intent was to post a new installment each week, my freelance work currently has me traveling around the country shooting the second season of Zane Lamprey's new TV series, Drinking Made Easy, on HDNet. It's been a pretty rough gig that so far has had me spending a couple of weeks in Hawaii, Monterey, California, and is about to take me to the Florida Keys. So my bathtub interviews are going to be a bit more sporadic while I'm off on vaca- uh, uh, slaving away night and day <laughs> creating quality television. Now that I'm home for a couple of days, I finally managed to pin down one of my actors, James Evans, for an interview. James plays the mailman character in all my films. Now, he lives all the way out in Big Bear, which is about a two-hour drive outside of L.A., so we better hop in the car and head on out to... How you doing, Tad? Whoa, James, hi. What's going on? Oh, not much. Just got you some mail today. Um, what are you doing here? I was planning to come out to Big Bear to do the interview in your bathtub. Right, yeah, I showed up at your place. I don't got a bathtub right now. Uh, is there a problem with that? Uh, no, it's fine. <laughs> Okay, that's good. That's good. We got you some mail. Notice of hearing, 2011 business tax. Hey, that's actually my mail. How, how did you get that? Oh, well, looks like your taxes will go up, buddy. And maybe my pay will go up. <laughs> I don't know that it actually works quite like that, but... It, what is this, some kind of method acting thing? I'm delivering your mail, dude. It's my job, okay? Don't don't sweat at me, man. Don't sweat at me. All right? <laughs> All right, sure thing. W w whatever you say. Hey, listen. Um, oh, hold on a second. I'm not quite. Uh, you. I'm not quite prepped up. Uh, James. Damn these things. Are cold. Come on. Kind of these foreign main things, man. Come on. Get. Oh, there we go. All right. So, uh, tell me, what is it about being a mailman that you find so appealing? My dad was a mailman for 38, 40 years over the Southern California area, right after World War II. So um, I grew up uh, with my dad coming home as a mailman. Wow, I had no idea. And he got bit 17 times. One time he got bit right in his forearm, and the dog bit through there and just ripped his bicep right out through his forearm. And it really messed him up pretty bad. And that was pretty much his last bite. I would have thought that'd make you think twice about becoming a postal worker. I guess that's why you're not a real mailman. We got the best postal system in the world. Um, you know, some people go postal on occasion, some people misdeliver the mail get drunk while driving, uh, while working. Um, but basically, mailman is an integral part of our society. A mailman is. Yeah. I, I guess that's true. So who are some of the mailmen you admire? I respect mailman. You know, you got Cliff Clavin, you got Newman, you got characters like that, but there's other type of mailman too. Some mailmen you don't want to mess with. You know, and I can be that way at times. So tell me, James, how do you think the approach to your character as a mailman in our upcoming short film, No Love Lost, will differ from the way you interpreted your mailman character in my last film, Anti-Samaritan Hotline? Well, when you approach a... Project? Project. Even if you're the same character, you pro your... Character? Character develops. It has different relations with different people within... Anti-Samaritan Hotline? Anti-Samaritan Hotline. Nice try. The, obviously, my relationship with this loser who's wasting my time and just whiny, mopey little bitch, you know, my attitude's going to be different. Now, when I be delivered to some nice young female, you know, not bad looking, could use a little special delivery, it's a different approach. So uh, it all depends on the person, but basically the character needs to develop both the mailman and the mailman. All right. Well, James, thanks so much for the insight into your acting methods and character approach. I'm sure everyone's going to be looking forward to your scene in No Love Lost. I think that's all I got for you now today, buddy. Uh, thanks, James. That's 
That's fine. You can go now. I'm just going to talk to the fine folks at home for a second. I think that's all mail I got for you today, man. That's fine, James. Now, I'd like to remind you that our Indiegogo fundraising campaign is still in full swing. We have less than three weeks to go until our May 18th deadline to reach our $6,000 goal. Pow! And just, in, or like, pow, 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 pow. You know, something like that, you know? I think this is modern equipment that most mailmen should carry nowadays. You know, this is the 2000s, 2010s. So, uh, you know, we need protection out there. James, can I finish what I was saying? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. As I was saying, we still need your donations to help us reach our goal by May 18th when the campaign ends. And don't forget, if we reach our goal, I'll be shaving my head and my goatee for your entertainment right here on Tales from the Tub. So visit the address on your screen and donate just a few dollars to help make it all possible. We've got great gifts and perks for you starting at just $5. Next time, don't forget the beer, okay? Catch you later, man. Bye, James. And I'm serious about the beer, man, and don't forget the lime, okay? No lemon, lime. Well, that's all for today, so until next week, or, or whenever, <laughs> keep on swimming.